Hello there, I'm Julie and I'm home alone. Yeah, 2020 wasn't the year I ordered. <laughs> now it's Sunday morning and I think that's the best time to start what you planned for the whole week. And this YouTube thing is... I really wanted to do so many things and um, it's fun and but it's also a lot of pressure for me and I feel like sometimes I'm not handling it well or sometimes I'm feel overwhelmed with all my life things that I decide not to post and but today I really was like I, I want to post again and I don't know if I really have content um yeah I I'm sitting here on my beautiful sofa you you know this already <laughs> and I got some other pillows here I was planning to have a nice backdrop when I film my next video and I was planning to have a camera but both wasn't working out so you have to deal with this situation now. 2020 is a strange year. When I started 2020 I, I put a picture of me in my New Year's outfit in. I didn't thought it would be the last party of the year for me <laughs> and also I had really big plans for 2020. I mean, I cannot put them really into words. It was just like the feeling that this is my year. I'm a rat. <laughs> so this is the year of the rat. And so that's another thing. I thought this would be my year. And, and then 2020 happened. <laughs> you all know what kind of things happened in the world. And... It was just like, what's going on? I, I have no clue what's going on. And it was really like falling. <laughs> I'm not in a really good state right now, but I think I can handle it. <laughs> Still, I want to get some help and I want to improve my life. And this month was a bit special month for me because now it's one year that I have the keys for my new flat. I'm not even close to a state that you can call moved in. <laughs> there are a lot of boxes not unpacked and, and shelves not built and curtains not hanged. But I really want to have a nice cozy home also because now I'm spending so much time in it. And it's like that 2020 brought me so many new things. I mean, it brought me Zoom, it brought me Foundations Revealed, it brought me Discord, it brought me a YouTube channel. I mean, I would never thought I would do a YouTube channel. It's like I can decide now somehow if I want to have contact with someone or not. It's like I have never been so much alone but also never been with so many nice people at the same time. I'm really appreciating this. And I also want to just say thank you for all the, all lovely, the lovely people I met in Discord. You're really helping me a lot. And I hope that we will keep this not only in this strange lockdown situation, but that we can yeah, take it with us to our normal life. I don't know when this will happen or if there will be ever a normal life again. I wanted to show you now the things I gathered for my star dress. And first, the star, haha, <laughs> the star of the dress will be this here. It's a mosquito net. And right now, it has those moons and stars on it. They are really cheap looking and they are just <laughs> glued on like this. And I'm waiting for it to, to peel off all this. 
<laughs> Sorry, no, no peel porn here <laughs> because I will do this off camera. This one will be the first. I don't know if I really would put it in, but I, I have it. It's, it's a nice silk slip dress. Maybe it will be part of it. The other main part will be this old vintage dress. I think it's vintage. I don't know. I, there was no tag in it. But it looks like 80s or something because it has this beautiful bow here on the side just <laughs> dangling there. I think it's it's a nice material. It's not scratchy and it's a dark blue and it is lace. Of course, I, I love lace. I want to keep it as a dress itself so that I only put the other layers on top so that I can use it as a normal dress as well. It's just a polyester pencil skirt in a strange length with a slit in front. It's not the most flattering thing on me as well. The only thing I love on this skirt is the buckle. So I will put the buckle off. I will keep the buckle. I have seen a picture just in the recent border where they had a retro model and she has a such a buckle. A dark blue. It's a velvet skirt someone had sewn but it's, it's really destroyed. It's, it's just a sack. It, it has no shape at all and so maybe it will transform to something nicer. Then I have this beautiful <laughs> polyester <laughs> shiny material. I think it will be really nice as an underlayer. What else? Some also polyester fabric and a bit thinner lining fabric. Here I have a light blue curtain in a bright light blue. I also had another curtain. Well, it will appear. <laughs> then I have this also blue lining fabric. Uh, here is some black fabric with. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it has some print on it saying Alba, I think. Alba Moda. I have some black lace top, some beige fabric. If I have to do some mod modesty pieces, it should have been some color, but I used this stretchy, I think it's kind of a basing suit material and it was not a good idea. And also not a good idea to sew fur. <laughs> the curtain, where's the curtain? Ah, oh. oh, yeah, another... Um, lining fabric out of polyester. <laughs> I have some pyjama pants in a more purple color. Maybe this would be also nice. Then I have some different also curtains in different colors because I thought it would be nice to have kind of a galaxy effect. And I was really inspired by the one video about the Cinderella dress Bella May was posting. So I will put down a link that this changing of color it would be really nice so i have a dust pink a little bit of aqua i don't know if you call this organza or something i mean but it's quite sheer and shiny and fluffy then i have some dark blue i wish i had more but i found this on, on the bulky waist so matthew i hope you are proud of me <laughs> i grabbed it <laughs> And then I have some more tulle. I only have white one, so I don't know if I use it because then it will look grayish. I don't know. But just in case I have some white, I also have some pink tulle. Yes, here's the other light blue. It is a light blue with a hint of aqua in it. And it's a really silvery blue, so I think it would be also good for night. I like the texture and Actually, it's the, the wrong side or the left side of the material, but I like this better. I also had some jewels. <laughs> I don't know how they work because they don't have glue on it. I'm 
so I, I think I have to glue them on. And then I have some silver material. This would be one option for the stars. I thought about zigzag them and then cut them out and just sew them on, but I don't know. <laughs> That's looking so pretty. For the pattern, I want to make a mix out of two patterns I, I found. This project is a no budget project, so I don't want to buy anything more new for it. Okay, the curtain was a bit cheating because I bought this after I planned it. It was four euro. I looked what kind of patterns do I have, what I might use, and I have this still packed border easy 6739 and it has three different kind of skirts here. I think it's quite working as a petticoat or a layer for the tool dress. I want to change my thumbnail. I had this orange picture quite a while now and I made this picture in my old flat and I, I feel like kind of I want to move on. So I wanted to know do you prefer to have one picture that I modify like I, I did this the last thumbnails or would you like better if I do one thumbnail for each video that is really more on topic? So please write me down in the comments what kind of thumbnail you prefer.